and we are getting straight back into the action. Right back to the Moss and Figgy game. Just a quick reset. Moss is up 3-0. Figgy does have ball. Both players have all their timeouts. Minute and a half left in the second quarter. Right back in the situation we were in. Let's see what happens. Bunch right for Figgy. Flipping it. Just trying to just trying to annoy him and quick hike after a flip. Hope he sets up from one side. Looks like he caught him too. Nice. It worked. Baldwin on a dot. That's exactly what happened that time. Just caught him back. First and goal from the seven. A lot shorter of a field here. Wouldn't be surprised to see a toss first play, a pitch first play. See if he can pick it up, just bounce it to the outside. Looks like, he sh looks like Moss is showing blitz out of 3-4 here, trying to stack every gap. Looks like both of them are in that West Coast, and uh, Figgy's going to walk in for the touchdown. He's up 7-3. And there's that head, Bob. Oh, yeah. It's getting a lot more prevalent He's now. He's getting ready to turn it up. Now, as far as I know, Figgy's got a chemistry in Vegas. I don't know what it is, but there's some kind of Vegas chemistry that just turns Figgy all the way up. 7-3 <laughs> there. Minute left. Moss does have all three of his timeouts. Still has a great chance to score. And after everything that's happened, I'll be honest, I don't remember who gives ball a half. Uh, Moss gets ball a half. No, no, no. Yeah, Moss gets ball a okay. half because he stopped Figgy. Now, right there. Oh, that with the dollar. That's right. That's right. Figgy looked real out. Yeah, right. You're right. He stopped him. So Moss has a chance here to score, take the lead, and get ball at half if everything goes his way. Mm-hmm. One minute left, bunch right. Figgy bringing those safeties all the way down. Deepest players on the field are his outside corners. Let's see what Moss does with it. Let's his tight end set. Five routes going the field again. And that's a dangerous throw. That's a real dangerous throw. And that's good D by Figgy right there. Now luckily that was a swat, so we don't gotta go to the golden rule. And we know Moss is scoring. Luckily, it was just a swat, not a drop pick. We should be okay there, second and 10. You know, I'm an old school player, you know what I'm saying? You know, when I have to do something and they have to restart the game, mm -hmm. you kind of feel like they take away your momentum. And it, 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 th it does. It throws you off a little bit. You know, I mean, that's, that's how I used to feel, you know. You'll see if it has effect on the any The same way I used to there. feel like running team on team. Didn't like it? Oh, no. I felt like if I had to run team on team, somebody was going to get screwed, and most likely it was going to be me. Oh, nice run by Moss right there. Big that's run. The hole. He's going to the house. Oh, yeah. That's a touchdown. But does he leave too much time for Figgy now? 45 seconds, all three timeouts. Yeah, you can, you can easily get three. You can. You can easily get seven. You saw how easily Moss got seven in about 11 seconds there. And Moss said he's not worried about no restart of the game. He's good. He's locked in. Doesn't bother him. Yeah. All right, that's why I said, man, I'm an old school player. 10-7 pending this extra point. Figgy doesn't even look like he's attempting to block it. He's controlling the player in the back there. Maybe he doesn't have the field goal blocks. Looks like he's kicking this one in bounds. Not everyone's a fan of that. Pretty deep, though. Figgy takes it out, not worried about a fumble. Mm, big hit. Oh, man. I would have felt bad if you had a fumble when I said that. Yeah. First and 10 now from the 25. He did lose three seconds there and gain no yardage. We'll see if those three seconds come back to haunt him or not. All three timeouts. Moss again shows blitz to fill those gaps. Drag. You want to take the drag? Gets out of bounds. Yes. Gain of four, doesn't lose any timeouts. Three, four odd again out of Moss. Bunch right out of Figgy. IDs the right side linebacker, expecting pressure from the right side. Keeps his linebacker left, excuse me, keeps his running back left to block that linebacker. Sends him out. That man, Moss does not care about your blitz. Good throw away. That's good D. And like we said before, you can't win a game before half, but you can for sure lose it. And see, like now, Moss has all his timeouts. Mm -hmm. If he doesn't get this first, mm. could be trouble. A lot of time to stop the clock there. Could be trouble. Now, with this much time, I would, if Figgy does not pick this up, he probably will punt. 
three routes go nice. out. First down. Doesn't matter. Does he get out of bounds? He does not, so he's going to have to burn one of those timeouts. 24 seconds left. He is at the 41. About a half yard away from getting out of bounds and saving a timeout there. It really is a game of inches. First and 10. Tight slots now. Play action. Block shed, and that may be intentional grounding. It Was he not outside grounding. of the tackle box? It no. does not look like it. It is intentional. Second and 20 now. Shout out to Kirk Cousins for getting intentional grounding and getting us out of field goal range at the end of regulation today. <laughs> Scream from the left side. How about the new one the Saints, huh? Sigh. Moss calls a timeout here on third and 26, looking to get the ball back. Maybe hoping to force a punt, get a nice punt return, see if he can't steal three at the end of this half. He needs to stop first. Third and 26, under center for Figgy here. Off tackle. Oh, man. Newman's got speed, and he's got just enough speed to catch him. That'll probably do it for the end of the half. Timeout Figgy may be looking to get one bomb out of it here. Wonder how fast Newman is. I'm pretty sure he's not mud hero status. No, not no, not the mud heroes. But the 85 overall would be my favorite. About 5,800 coins, 92 zone. Listen, I ain't doing nothing budget on mud. You understand? Listen, we're not I all balling all like you. Goons. I heard you was using that 75 cap Barry Sanders. I heard you were the man. I got the 75 cap Moss too. Man, going up top. I can't. So basically, 20% of your cap is two players. Nah. Picked off there. And that'll do it for the first half. 10-7, Moss is going to lead. Moss does get ball. And expect to see a lot of chew clock out of Moss. Oh, yeah. He is definitely a throwback, fullback dive, halfback toss, halfback dive, 40 seconds kind of player. It's a throwback to old school Madden. I like it. We do have our other game going on as well. Let's take a quick look at that one. See what's going on. We'll let you know with any updates on this Mr. Moss and Figgy game. Again, 10-7 there. Carrie and Moe is, the, uh, is your other Final Four. Excuse me, your Final Four game. This is a Final Eight game still. The solo game left in the Final Eight. The winner of this moves on to play Problem in the Final Four. There is the crowd, the stand, the field. Everybody is in the arena over there right now. Yeah, they're over there on the big stage in oh, the man. arena, man. So fun in there. It's an absolute ball in that room, man. Carrie and Mo. And just in time, maybe? Ooh. Ooh, we almost had it just in time. Carrie's up 3 nothing. Mo with ball here. Three and some change left to go in the second quarter. Again, we will keep you updated with any scores from the Moss and Figgy game. Do yeah. not worry about and that. The problem is awaiting the winner of Moss and Figgy, and this right here is the Final Four game. That's right. This, the winner of this game advances to the finals. Mo is out here in the carry close. First carry, the creator. Wondering if carry has the D for his own offense. You would, you would figure after running it the last two years, he would have to see what stopped him on both games, oh, yeah. why that stopped him. You figure he would incorporate that to his own defense, of course. Of course you have to know how to stop him. I mean, pretty much when somebody's running your own stuff, you say, well, what gives me problems? I'm going to run it on him. Exactly. That's exactly right. Stretch, block shed. Good deal. Oh, and a broken tackle. What should have been a loss of three turns into a gain of three. I'm wondering if this is nickel 335. Why? Or three, four. Third and one. Sticks to the deuce close for Mo. I'm hoping it's the wide because I can audible to that, you know. <laughs> <laughs> that is an important thing there. First oh, down. Oh, nice run. Oh, oh and a ju good juke. Real good juke by Mo there. I like it. First down. First and ten here. Timeout for Carey. Probably didn't like the people he had on the field or just didn't like the fact that they're all starting to get tired in that 4-6 bear under. You really need fresh bodies. Hurdle! Hurdle. It is. When that hurdle happens, man, Mo knows he has to get that ball out of there ASAP. Mm -hmm. Second and 10 now. Two and a half minutes left. Mo needs about five yards to get into field goal range with the Seahawks. Seems to be good from 52 and better. Mo coming out in a bunch flip. 
Motion out Richardson. Most likely going to be running corner strike. No, it's not. It's going to be the post. Mo's going to scramble with Russell Wilson and slide. Good Gain about seven. Good slide. Third and two now. May take us to the two-minute warning. Depends on how Mo wants to play it. We'll see what he does. Bunch right. Base or the draw? Oh, play action, uh, play action post. Base. First down. Oh. And a little more. If he didn't have, if he would have cut inside and didn't have to do that juke, that would have been six. Two minute warning now. What defense is this? Is this the bear? Looks like this is the bear that carries in. Four six bear under, I believe, play is action. what he's been running. Takes the drag. Oh, man, hit. real big hit. Conservative. Dropped the shoulder into him. Bunch to the left now. Wants the wide side. Most people do. Flips it right. Maybe see a quick hike here. Maybe the base? Nah, play action cross. Drag, hit the C route. Play action, drag, sees the C route, fires it, correct. First down. <laughs> oh my goodness, first down. I ain't trying to say I've seen this before. Now oh. you know Carrie knew it was coming too. What <laughs> she just get upset with there is there is no one on the Falcons who's going to make a play on that. Yeah. There just isn't anyone on the roster that can make a play on it. Yeah. First and goal here. IDs, Wham. I believe, the free safety on that one, so he can't come through and blow it up. Touchdown. Mo is up six to three, pinning the extra point should be seven, but you know Mo. Not gonna say nothing, but you know Mo. Well, Kerry, Kerry knows Mo too, so as you see, he's not even gonna play around with it. He's not even gonna come out no field goal block. Nah, he, he saw too many fakes that last game. Let's go ahead and check back in on our Mr. Moss and Figgy game. Again, 7-3 here, Mo up. We'll get back over. 10-7 here. Mr. Moss Mo. threatening. Whoa, oh, he picked go. off. Big interception by and that Mo might Thomas. be crib. That's crib. You can already guarantee this is six right here. That's mm -hmm. a big play by Figgy in the fourth quarter to come up to save his tournament, taking it to the house. Moss was in field goal range, had a chance to make it a six-point game if he just didn't get too greedy, and he got and he's too sick. greedy. It's, he's sick. You can read it all over his face. You can just see it, man. He's sick. He's like, you know, I should have just, just threw it away, kicked the three, and made Figgy score six. Force him to score a touchdown instead of yeah. now forcing yourself to score a touchdown. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that quick, the tables can turn, man. I always, I, when you see that lane, you just get a little bit scared. You just get slight scared when tough. you see that lane. 14 Let's see if Mr. Now. Moss can come up with a good drive. Now, Moss probably wants this to be the last drive to oh, yeah. go down, score seven, win the game, worry about the GOAT in the final four. You're going to see pitch dive, that tight end going on the street, mm -hmm. and that running back coming out on the wheel route. The mm -hmm. question is, does Figgy have to D for it? I know you're saying, well, man, usually looks like he done lurked everything. He knows it. Well, look, man. You know, two routes out on play action. Those are the way good play. It's easy to see this stuff when you're sitting back watching, but it's different when you're playing. Can you make the adjustments? Completely you know, different cause adjustments cause playing, you have to make. When you're playing, you're thinking about everything. Every adjustment, every play everything. he's ran. Every, yeah. Oh, yeah. I definitely don't take what these guys are doing lately. Bunch left, Stefan Diggs. Crossfire, screen, corner route. Nice play. You First already game. knew it was going to be crossfire when he had Earl Thomas all the way up in the box like that. You can just tell pre-snap. You're not going to have a cover two shell with him that far down. Correct. Yeah. Especially and you, him using it. It's a recipe for disaster if you oh, do. Yeah. Most likely he's going to be the guy that's in the yellow. So yeah. First and 10 now from the 40. Needs all 60 of these yards. 60 yards sends him to online single limb at the very worst. And he wants them Ball. all right now, and there's picked off. Wow, picked off by Cam Chancellor. 
the last pick that Cam Chancellor can potentially get for Figgy. And he's going to the house. Is that two pick he's sixes in the last the house, two minutes? Two pick sixes. Wow, man, that is big. And here comes the head pop, head bop by Figgy. I'm telling that you, quick Figgy's got a Vegas chemistry. He does. Figgy's card gets activated when he steps into this arena. He moves up three clutch. His IQ goes up four. It's read and react level. It's read and react tier six. I promise well, it's, you. Moss is sick. You can see him. You could look at it. Look at him, man. You can see him. He's sick, man, because he know he has the game. He had it won. He had it won. It was he his was, game to he lose, was, he and he lost up, it. He was That's up exactly three with happened. two minutes. He's at, like, the six-yard line. All he has to do is just punch it in, and that's game. And now he throws two back-to-back -back interceptions. Obviously, Figgy cannot score. He held him to seven. And now he's down 11, you know. That's a sad situation, man. When you when you you when you are the one. Oh, when you know you beat yourself. Yeah, when you oh, are yeah. the one that you know did your own grave, man. It's, it's sickening. It hurts. It it makes it makes the plane ride home so yeah. much different. And now, if you lose and somebody beat you, you're yeah. okay with that. You can say, okay, what did, you know? Let me improve upon this. I won't make this mistake last time. But to beat yourself, then you just beat yourself up for the next who oh, knows yeah. how long. Yeah. Oh yeah. 21-10 now. Moss needs a score. And he does have all three timeouts, so he can get a stop and get the ball back. But he's going to need a lot here. We'll let you know if he starts to make that comeback. Until then, we will get you over into the final four games. Serious Mo, Kerry Q. We'll let you know who wins the Moss and Figgy game to play problem. 7-6 right now. Mo is getting ball. I'm not sure if Kerry missed an extra point or maybe he went for two. Wouldn't no, be surprised. He, he, he got a field goal. Oh, that's right. He is already up 7-3. You're right. You're right. Deuce close again. Yeah, Kerry is running the bear. See what Mo does to counter this. A lot of people down. Keanu Neal at free safety. Big hitter to the left side there. Stretch. Runs it to the big hitter side. Gain of about one. And, you know, that's the difference between, you know, Mo running and True Boy. It was a couple of holes in there that, you know, you could have cut back. Yeah. And maybe made a big play. Yeah. You know, that's the run stick. You have to see the difference between why, why we praise these other guys' run stick who, like True Boy. And yeah, but like I said, there's a reason we tell you he's the best open field Madden player in the world. Yeah. I mean, Mo's great. It's just, you know, that, that isn't his specialty. Now, you get him on defense. I like him. Oh, his adjustments are out of this world. Mm -hmm. he, I've seen him do plays where he's had no deep blues on the field. Yes, and, oh, man. Just straight yellow. Oh, like, man. it's crazy. Woo. That oh, guy, wow. That Richardson. guy just knows how Ooh, to adjust. Down. Smart. He just knows how to adjust. He's just a smart player. Not risking a big hit right there. Not even going to take the chance at a fumble. For what? For an inch? And that's it. Breaking news. When it feels like breaking, it is over. Figgy won. Moss is out. Figgy will play problem in the final four. So for everybody out there in DC world, you will be seeing problem and Mo in at least single of limbs, if not your group stage. Oh yeah. Be They're afraid. Coming. Be very afraid. Yeah. Fourth and inches here for Mo. Wham. Blow up. Great block shed there. And, you know, you cannot run the wham versus the creator. It's hard to do. It's hard to do. I know it works versus everybody, but it has to click. Like, if anybody got wham, D, I'm pretty sure he does. He knows what stops his wham. He's going to put that right back on his field. Oh, yeah. Two and a half left in the third. First and ten for Kerry Q. Here comes a wham right here. Yep. It just, it Good looked, run stick. It, it looked too juicy. Good run stick. It just looked too juicy. First and goal. He likes what he saw. Hurries up. Looking to get his lead back. He's at least in field goal range as long as he doesn't Mr. Moss himself here. Ooh, how about Oh, man. I, I am so scared when that thing bounces off that crossbar. And so the clock is supposed to keep running or it's not? Or it's only like at the end of the game? No, so it seems like in the end of the game it keeps running for okay. whatever reason. Okay. If I knew, I would change it myself. Oh, okay. But it seems like at the end of the game, when that ball hits that crossbar, that clock does not stop moving. Mm -hmm. 
corner out in the back of the end zone. Doesn't throw it. Ooh, dangerous throw there. He dropped it, didn't he? I think it kind of went through his hands. Because mm. it made it all the way back to Chancellor. And Chancellor was very close to uh, eight yard line. scooping that off the carpet there. Yeah. Big down coming up for KQ. Maybe bench here. He needs to get six. Bench here to play action play, I'd say. Yeah, I was thinking take off two. Ooh, okay, wow. Matt, okay, Matty Ice. I'm going in there. I'm going in there. I'm not sliding. No, no injuries. You're not going to get hurt. I'm going in there. I'm yeah, hold, you're not going to get hurt. I'm going to hold cover up and just say, hey, man, it is what it is. I, I need six. Fourth and one now he has to. He doesn't have to go for it, but this is what Mo wanted. I don't, against a player like Mo, I almost think you do have to go for this. A two-point lead against Mo, he's going to get in a field goal range yeah. most of the time. Go ahead no, and give yourself a touchdown QB lead. Sneak. This has to be a toss. Maybe or a Stinger? Sting. sting. Yeah. Toss or Sting. I definitely wouldn't run no toss. Power. Does he? No. No. And oh, Mo is excited. Man. Mo flexes for the camera. And first, and, first and ten from the one. Now That's watch out stop. for pressure from Kerry oh, here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Send, send 12. And I promise you, Kerry is going to send six. Need to. I promise you. He's not going to play the dollar. any games. He's going to send gonna them all. Send them. He's going to He's shaking them. He blitzed regardless. I'm telling you, he's shaking them. He's going to send them. Pinches the line. He's shaking them because he's like, hey, man. Oh, but they picked it up, and oh, he might man. go to the house. That's 99. Oh, what a – that's a tournament-saving tackle maybe for Kerry right mm -hmm. there because that looked like it was 99. Mm -hmm. He may have just given himself life. How tough is it to run the base right there? Mm. It's just a great play call. He knew the, he knew the pressure was coming from the outside. I mean, but I just don't trust the base. I mean, it could easily get blown up. At the one? It took, it took a lot of chutzpah yeah. to call that. Yeah. And that's what makes Mo Mo. Mo going to that bunch tight end, flipping it back and forth. Playing patty cake with the defenders there, just trying to see, see what they'll commit to. Maybe motions out that corner route. Base. Inside zone. Good play. 12 rushes, 68 yards, and a touchdown. Not bad stats at all. We'll have to see at least one more play in the third quarter here. About a two-second difference on the game clock and the play clock. Good mix of rush and pass for Mo. He's definitely mixing it up, keeping Kerry guessing. This time looks like Kerry's guessing for a run left. It's exactly what he gets, only play it's the action. play action. Throw that ball away, smart play. And you see him try to play make of that route up field there. Didn't like it, threw it away. Great job by Mo. Kerry actually is running some good D out there, 4 6 bear. Better D than I've seen it. So obviously the 4 6 bear is the answer for the deuce close. And then dollar for bunch. Mm hmm. I like it. Play action again. Greg. Takes away the middle of the field. Jimmy Graham on a drag. Fights his way for a first down. Should be the last play in the third quarter. We've got four minutes until we guarantee you somebody's making the online group stage. Put your fours up, people. Fourth quarter. One of these guys will be going to the finals. Mo or Kerry Q. Bunch right for Mo, dollar again for Kerry. No shake this time. Base blown up. See, that's what I was worried that was going to happen at the one. Mm -hmm. Like, he lost three yards. That's why I said it took a lot of kahunas to run that, that base right there, you know? A lot of them. Yeah, man, because you could have easily got that blown up in the backfield. And it would have been a safety. And whew. He definitely had a little Jobo there. Yeah. Without a doubt. Does he throw that dot? You thought he was Big going hit? for the post? No, I thought he was going to throw it to try and Out of the underneath, yeah. The, the crosser. Third and three. Mo is just basically going to try to take all the up underneath. I just nickel and dime them all the way out of it. I can promise you PA post is coming right here. It's going to be a drag. He might even motion that the outside guy to cross to, to give you another drag or slant. You know, yeah, he's going to motion lock it across. We know what's coming here. Kerry know what's coming here. Does he have the D? He's just going to manually rush. Pick oh! No animation for Jimmy Graham and a great animation 
and that might be six. Will Russell catch him? Jamie Collins. Yes. Mm. Good play. And Kerry knew what was coming. Jimmy Graham got no animation whatsoever there. Yeah, Kerry knew what was coming, and I felt like he just said, you know, forget it, man. Everything out the window. As you saw, he manually rushed. He came with himself, sent everybody, and was just like, hey, man, I can't stop this anyway. I'm just going to see what happens. You did say it was going to come down to who gets the most love, and there was a lot of love from EA on that because usually Jimmy Graham goes up and gets that. And this time he didn't even put his hands up. Second and four. Just under three minutes left. Three timeouts for both players. Slow That's it down, right Carey. Carey is going to slow this down. Yeah, man. Well, hopefully my man Mo can pull this out. Well, I'm not going to be mad either way it goes. Wow. Mm. And he got a conversion. Is that first? Mm, that's dangerous. That is his first. Ooh, that's dangerous. Well, I'm going to step on out of here and let my man VTech finish up this game. And I'll catch you guys in a little bit. Should be the last play before the two-minute warning here. Carey can pick up a first down just inside the two-yard line. Good patience. Pickup of maybe one. We'll see the two-minute warning. 7-6. Mo is up one point. Plenty of time left for Mo. All right. I had to pull me away from the Cowboys game. Sorry. Uh, it happens. What's the score over there? Dallas is up 3-0. Okay. Know, no right. big deal. All right. Second and eight here for Carey. Back to the Carey close. Looks like 3-3-5 normal out of Mo. High pass, a little too high of a pass. It, it's frustrating when you see a quarterback like Matt Ryan make that throw. Like Unless he, it's the Super Bowl, he's yeah, not going to do that. Right. He's supposed to be one of the elites. Who can you trust? Third and eight. Offset. Scrambles with the quarterback. No. Oh Late second goodness. dot. Is it a touchdown? It is. That was so hot. Mo does not oh, like wow. it. I just want to know what Mo's saying right now because I bet you it's gospel. Don't, I bet you it is. Don't read his lips. Mo is one of the more honest players when it comes to situations like that. I'm going to be honest. Like <laughs> a lot is. of people will just yell. Mo is usually honest he with is. what he's saying there. Two point conversion to make it a full seven point lead. Six does absolutely nothing for you. And unless you've got the block click, play. Gitch. Yeah, about that. Carey's got it? No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> I don't think there is one. Is no, right? I thought he had it. No. Offsets the running back. This is Baker. Will he make it seven delay a game? Oh, wow. You know, that's not necessarily a bad thing there. No, it gives you as, more room as, for a couple yeah, routes as, to as develop. As goofy as that sounds. Yeah. A now your like, shorter crossing routes don't immediately turn to in right. routes when they hit the back well, of the end zone right. and just take and you off. Can't, now you can't, jump, you, you can't guard the drag and the high ball in the back yeah, of the end zone. Yeah, with one player right. guarding basically an entire side of the right. field. Yeah. May have even done it purposely, honestly. Good possibility. Two-point conversion from the seven now, looking to make it a seven-point game. Single back big, 3-3-5 three, three, normal for Mo. Gives it an empty look. We saw this from Kerry earlier today. Five routes go out. Picked off. Okay. Mo just needs six to send himself to the finals. Puts a lot of pressure on a guy. I know when a touchdown beats you. He does kick it in bounds. That is, oh, but that's real deep. That's Janikowski deep. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Janikowski, uh, probably the coolest punter. Uh, actually, my favorite kicker of all time, probably Mike Vanderjack. I'm a, I'm a big Pat McAfee fan. Mm. His best, Twitter is very entertaining. follow on Twitter. Oh, his right? Twitter He's is so, good. so entertaining. So good. I love when he, he always gives love to the kickers that, oh, absolutely. Hit, that put the hit sticks on people. 12-7 now. Big drive from Mo. Play action. Oh, he's got him. He's got him. Square was open. He, he didn't like it. There, okay. Runs out with Russell. Picks up about 15. Minute and 40 left. Three timeouts for both competitors still. You'll probably see Bunch Week and Deuce Close exclusively. Oh, absolutely. Two of the most popular formations in Madden 18. Wow. 
flips the bunch, goes left. Nice run. Tackle battle, one by carry, second and eight. I feel like Devondre Campbell is one of the best users in Madden this year. I like Jones in the Falcons. If I'm using Deion somebody, Jones. I go Jones. See, I, I, I like the 6'4". Yeah, I, it I like definitely makes a difference. Fires it. Will he get both feet down? Doug yes. Baldwin, of course he will. Absolutely. There's that deuce close. Carey's going to counter with Dollar. Carey does not like countering that with Dollar. No. Will probably come out with Bear Under instead. You, you don't want to get Goes pancakes. directly to that Bear Under. You want to make your opponent work. I miss this. when I could just blitz a safety in Dollar and he would count him as a run fit. Yeah. That was a good time. The dime defense from three years ago where you, you lurk with the D end. I miss that. I miss when you could stop everything with quarters. <laughs> ID the defensive tackle there, oh, hoping not to get a block shed. <laughs> That's exactly what he was doing. Okay. Just didn't want the block shed after, that. I mean. Fair enough. Guard that man. That is what ID in the mic is. You're just yelling at him. Guard. To guard that man. 40 seconds left. Three timeouts still for Mo. Two timeouts for Kerry Q. Kerry up five. One timeout for Kerry. We're, We're getting a nut crunching time here. Mo's got the entire playbook at his disposal with this kind of timeout situation. If you're carry, you're not you're not sure if he's passing the ball here, if he's throwing the ball. <laughs> Drops back, five routes go out. Scrambles away from the pressure. Third and two, maybe. Great job of lurking the field by Carey there. He jumped from one route to another, to he jumped three different routes. Anything that came over the middle, he took away. And the only thing he gave up was the 15-yard scramble. Deuce close. Uh-oh, screamer. Oh, no. And luckily, there is a wide receiver in the area, or else we see another intentional grounding. The spin around, throw away animation. Ah, the spin rooney Fourth you, and three. You never want that one. Bunch for Mo. Mo has his tournament life on the line right here. Timeout for him. Maybe just looking to get everybody back to green. It's maybe the play to get two group stage. That This is your group stage life right here. It's exactly what that is for both of them. Carey looking to make a stop so he can quit his DC grind. Mo looking to do the same. Both of them want a chance at that $2,000 grand prize. Fourth and three. You're going to see Dollar. You're going to see Bunch. You've seen it all weekend. Who's is going to prevail here? Flips it, gives it a left side look, quick hikes it. There was a couple dots. Great play. Beautiful play. Great play. Had circle, had triangle, had a couple different places he could throw there. A lot there. of places he could go. One timeout, for, excuse me, one timeout for Kerry, zero timeouts for Mo. You'll see deuce close, first and goal, so he cannot pick up a first down and get a reset of darts there. Don't think he would have enough time to take advantage of no. that anyway. Quick hikes the play action. Oh, oh man. Block shed. 16 seconds left. Second and Very goal. fortunate to have got that ball off. Or else he's sacked a, a, and he has to hurry there, up. A sack there leaves you no huddling to one play. You know, actually, Moe's probably one of the more composed players. He probably knows to not touch anything, get himself into his play call screen. He actually saves time. Right. He's probably smarter than that. All right. Kenyon Barner, four-yard touchdown for the Eagles. Meh. Hopefully they both lose. Second and goal here. Bunch from the left side again. Floods the right oh, side man. of the field. Dot, touchdown, Mo. He does this. Wow. I mean, he... Mo has been clutch for years. He's as clutch as they get. And he's letting Kerry know himself how clutch <laughs> he is. Ten seconds left. One timeout. He's going to go for two to try to make it a field goal game so that way anything that pops off maybe gets a long kick return and gets into field goal range. It still only goes to overtime. Such a great play. Wham. Three-point lead for Mo. Mo has always been kind of a freestyle player. You know, he likes to call and make plays on, on the edge like that, get on the perimeter with the quarterback. Playmaker here or there.
eight right. seconds. So we're not going to see a kick return for a touchdown. One bomb. Actually, Carrie's the type to run the ball here. Hope to <laughs> he get some pancakes. Possibly. Let's see what he does here. We've already seen it more than once today. From the same player. <laughs> from the same, from the same game. I felt so bad. He Even after winning that game, he didn't yeah, even make the playoffs. Yeah, he still lost a, a point differential. Yeah, two and one, and you lose because of point differential. That sucks. He does try to bomb quarters three deep. Okay, all right. And he I has like a timeout. That. I like that. Okay. <laughs> Here we go. All right, hold on. Let's just oh, hold God. on. Is he good from 57? No, I don't think so. Who no, We are going to find out. I can tell you that much. If he has the wind at his back, he could be good from 57. Oh, my God. That dot. That might be good. Wow. What kind of power does he get? What kind of? It I doesn't don't, matter. He I think it. it might be good. He nailed it. This may be an wow. OT. 15, and play. it had maybe four yards to go. That might have been good from 60, ladies and gentlemen. Kerry Q said he's smart. He knows what he's doing. He's going to take his yards. He's going to call that last time out, and he's going to send it to OT. That right there is why when I'm the home team, uh -huh. I set my stadium to a dome. Okay. I never, no win. I never want the win uh -uh. to affect the outcome. We are playing in Lucas Oil granted, closed. Granted, it could work in your favor, uh -huh. but in that situation, if that's in a dome, no, I'm going to assume you go AT&T Stadium. Oh, absolutely. Whereas I'm more of a so, Lucas yeah. Oil kind of yeah, guy. Yeah, I go AT&T, the best stadium in the, in, the, in the world. Never been there. Huh, you should try. I like quality football. 15-15, uh, Kerry gets ball first. A touchdown wins this game. A turnover in any points for Mo wins the game for him. Takes three, and Mo gets the chance to match. How hot was that oh, to man. get him in the field goal and he, range? I think he low-passed it, he too. He did. He low-balled yeah. Stretch. Pancakes. Oh, that, oh, okay. Earl, Earl is the Avenger oh. on Run D2 because he just saved Jeez. his life. Carry, you got to be better than that. Oh, man. He th I think he zigged when he should have zagged. Oh, deuce close. What a tackle by Mo. What a user oh, tackle by Mo. To save his tournament. Okay, a little bit of a late hit there, Mo. Let's keep it classic. Let's keep it classic. Second Chancellor four. trying to go out with a bang. Man, he knows it's his last. It's his last run. Deuce close again. Quick it, hikes. The play action wow, play. Mo, Mo tried to bait him. Oh, no. That's a pick. That's Earl. That's a. Oh man, <laughs> three players there and they drop it. Oh man. Mo. What a break for Carey. Mo baited him the oh, whole way. Oh, so beautifully. Let him think he had the outside fade. Oh, man. And then just and ran over there. Wagner. Third and four from the 47. Single back big this time. 3-3-5 three, three, normal countered by Mo. Audibles. Good in route. Oh, and Gabriel's going to take it all the way on an in route. Takes and it all the way. There it is, a Madden bylaw. What happens when you drop a I pick? I mean, when you drop a pick, the next play tends to be touchdowns. Guaranteed touchdown. Ugh. Not tends to be. It is a guaranteed Ugh. touchdown. That, oh, that's so oh, – that's, that's crushing loss. Crushing to Mo, but a great, like, great comeback. Oh, absolutely. By carry. Yeah, you, Take you nothing away from either competitor. Yeah, you got to admire Take the Take nothing fight away from had. either one of them. Because I tell you, you go down three with eight seconds left, not many people have the composure to, to put together a dot like Especially that. Especially against three deep, to be able to low pass it. I, I to mean, to yeah. have the, oh, that was a great drive. And then to hit the 57-yard field goal. Look, yeah. in, in the comfort of your own home, in, in your boxers when you're eating a bowl of cereal. Much that different. That 57-yard field goal.